London South Bank at the National Theatre. We are backstage just down here are the corridors behind the Olivier Theatre and just that way is the Dorfman Theatre and if you continue around there's the third space which is in the National Theatre which is the Littleton which is where we'll be this afternoon. Yes we're seeing The Red Bar. This is a play, a new play by David Hare. It's based on a novel and it's also been directed by Robert Icke and Robert Icke is an associate director at the Almeida Theatre and his recent credit it's include 1984, fantastic production that mm -hmm. we saw um, okay. over at the Playhouse Theatre here in London, and also Oresteia, which um, won a plethora of mm -hmm. um, Olivier Awards recently. Was, that was a fantastic show as well, so um, maybe that'll see the light of day again at some time if you didn't get a chance to catch it the first time. So I'm really excited about this one, a really strong cast, uh, including Mark Strong, who recently won the Olivier Award for A View from the Bridge, which started off at the Young Vic, and then transferred into the West End, and then he took it over to Broadway. So some really exciting stuff in the cast. There's also female leads from people who were in God of Carnage and The Night Manager, which was recently on the BBC this year. So some exciting stuff. The Red Barn has been adapted by David Hare, who's done a whole load of other pieces, Skylight, Judas Kiss, um, Pravda, um, some really well-known pieces. Um, the play itself is billed as a psychological thriller. It's about a group of people that get stranded in a snowstorm and they're forced to face a few truths about themselves. All in all should be a great show. It's always a pleasure to be here at the National. They really are cutting edge. Uh, they do so many interesting productions, always something a bit different here. It's also great to be here on the walkway, which is a public space where you can see sets being made. Just down there's a props table with all the interesting props from shows past and present. They make everything here at the National, from the sets, which are all built on site, right through to costume wardrobe. Um, so yeah, it's just a wonderful kind of wealth of theatrical uh, you know, richness for, for anything, anyone that's got aspirations to be in theatre, they could learn a lot from this space. Come to the end of the Red Barn, how did you find it? Um, yeah, I thought it was interesting. It was almost a bit Hitchcockian, is that a word? It in, is now. In regard to kind of the the pace and some of the... It seems strange to talk about cinematography when you're talking about theatre, but it was very cinematic. I almost felt like at times I was watching a movie more than I was watching a play. That being said, there were some definite lackings. Yeah, I'd say the cinematography of it, I absolutely agree with. Uh, it was done very much like a film. The way it very slickly moved between scene to scene, and there was a lot of scenes going on. Um, but moved gracefully, the set is, is pretty ingenious, the lighting and sound is great as you would expect from this creative team who have also done Orestia and 1984, you can see a lot of like that design of um, creativeness in it. Yeah, I think special uh, mention needs to go to Bernie Christie for the set itself um, yeah. and Top the marks. technical team at the National for making it work. There's yep. a lot of technical expertise gone into this show. A lot of um, stagecraft going on. Yeah, some beautiful touches of lighting as well. Mm. Um, a lot of the actual technical side of the production was phenomenal, but with regards to the actual piece, yeah, slow. Slow. I found myself kind of drifting off at stages thinking is something gonna happen now is something going on if talking about a slow burner this was a slow burner for me I think if you're interested in actually the technical side of a production say if you're you yourself are thinking about going into stage management if you're thinking of going into set design light and technical then it is something special it's something worth seeing if you're looking for a uh, pacey interesting exciting night out of the theatre this is not what are you looking for? Cast-wise, uh, Elizabeth Debicki, I think her name is, she stood out for me. Um, she um, was very sleek, very tall, very poised. Um, there's just something about her that oozes class. Um, Mark Strong, you know you're in safe hands as a steady lead, um, but for me there just wasn't a lot going on for them. Nothing wrong with the direction of the piece. Um, it was mainly the plot that was lacking. Mm. I think Robert Iker definitely drew everything he could out of the production and he got some great names on board with regards to cast, but unfortunately he's let down by the text. 
Yeah, just a slow, slow burner. So, how many legs are we going to give this one? We can hear you screaming. Well, from us for the Red Barn at the National Theatre, playing till later into January, we are going to give this production... Three! Three legs for the Red Barn. And that's pretty much many because of the production. The, the how it was put together definitely earned, if it was that on its own, more legs. But as it's a whole piece, with the story and the plot and the pace of it, kind of drags it down to three legs for us. We're back at the National again later in January to see Amadeus in the Olivier space, so we look forward to talking to you about that, and then even further into the year, Hedda Gabler. So stay tuned, subscribe, like, and we'll keep you updated with the latest in the world of theatre. Bye! Bye.